Hello guys, thanks very much for um, the interest in our Rico heat unit. Um, this video is just to answer some of the questions that we've been getting on the YouTube and Facebook links and to catch you up to date with what we know about how the unit works and what it actually achieves. So first of all, very sensibly, what is it? It is a rigid flue section with a coil element inside it. That, the section fits in the top of the stove at the bottom of the flue and the rest of the flue is built off it. It's got a silicon high heat hose at the back and that connects to another normal um, air hose and that goes along and connects to a large aquarium pump. These things, we get them because they give the best power to money ratio and they're very, very reliable. They're used for koi carp. Um, so if they break, all your thousands of pounds of fish die. Um, so it's a large aquarium pump, and that's why we advise you put it somewhere where you can't hear it, because they vibrate. And actually we, we supply it with a little silencer that we make to take the sound of the mechanism out of the airflow, so that you can't hear it coming through there. Um, so that's what you get. The only thing that we, we advise you to change sometimes is um, some people put the pump up in the loft or in the basement or they put it um, they put the airline into the hearth and you know through the floor and in that case we advise you fix it on with copper so um, this is 10 mil steel a, a standard 10 mil copper coupling fits onto the steel and then you just use this stuff as long as you like buy it at the plumbers merchants and um, that will take it you can put it then through concrete, through walls, um, and particularly, some if people are putting it in the loft, um, and you're, so therefore you're putting the line straight up the flue, inside or outside, um, so that it's not clearing the heat of the stove, then don't use this stuff because it will dry out, it won't melt, but it will dry out and crack eventually, um, and using the copper prevents that. So that's what it is. Um, next questions, should it be installed by an installer? Yeah, unless you really know what you're doing and you can get it signed off, get a professional installer to install it. It's the legal requirement in the UK, um, but they'll tell you about your stone. Um, these sit in the top of the stove and it's obviously in the updraft. If, you, if your stove creates a lot of creosote in the first metre or so, then don't fit it, because it means that you're you're burning cool and you haven't got much draft um, and in that case either change the stove or fiddle around with the draft and make and sort that out but don't fit a reco heat to that it's not that it creates more creosote but it's something for creosote to sit on and it will block up so don't fit it um, apart from that we haven't actually had that at all in a normal stove um, one person fitted theirs um, and they, you know, they hadn't told us they've got a stove with an oven in the top and the oven is a heat exchange unit, so that takes all the heat out, so you can't fit it like that. And that's why you can't fit them when you've got a back boiler, because there's just not enough heat coming up the flue. Um, um, in terms of sweeping, you sweep them straight through the stove as normal. Um, it's got a 65 mil void here, and the rotating brushes go through that with no problem, and also a, a, a mould, it's called the soft brushes, they go through it with no problem. Um, so most of our early adopters were sweeps and installers because they're the guys who are really interested in new technology um, and you know, we've taken it now to trade show, tested it on the, on the flues, it's, it's, you've got no problem cleaning through it. Um, for actually cleaning the coil, um, you, can, you can go up the sides, and, but they don't really pick up any more than the normal flue, so um, you know, cleaning isn't a problem with them. Um, so cleaning, installation, um, the biggest thing that we wanted to show you actually, because it's the, it, you know, it's, a, it's what everybody wants to know, is how loud is it. So we haven't got any music on and you can hear it. It makes a significant hiss and the reason for that is the turbulent, the fact that the air coming through it is turbulent. Um, you see we've got decent fire here. Um, so it's quite hot, so the, the air is accelerating, and I can feel the I can feel the airflow out to about out to about there. So there's a vortex 
that it creates through the turbulent airflow, which drags the, 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 the heat from the stove out, and that's what makes the, you know, that's where we get most of the heat creation or um, heat dispersal um, from it. But you can hear, and to some, make sure you can hear, I'm going to switch it on and off so you can hear the difference. It's, very, you know, it's a significant white noise. That makes a big difference in a small room and very little difference in a large one. Put it back on and you can hear it. Okay, so it's a significant presence in your life that you soon don't hear if you're using it, um, but in a small room, you real, will really hear it. Um, so why would you bother? Well, you know, the, the biggest thing that we've learned is obviously getting it around to customers um, some in the States, some in Canada, some in Australia even, um, um, and you know, different parts of Europe, and mostly in Scotland at the moment, and we've even gone up to Orkneys and Shetland, so wonderful. And the biggest thing we've learned about them is how well they work. And um, you know, they really do turn your stove into a central heating system. And on a small house, um, you know, we've got people who are heating their small houses, solely off their stove, because the difference is, is that the air, the heat from the stove, is being circulated. Um, you build up the pressure in the room, you build up the warmth in the room, you open the doors and it circulates around the house, and it really works. Um, um, somebody's got it in their 21 metre by 5 metre workshop, and it warms it, so his neighbour phoned up and, and you know, has bought one, because it makes that sort of a difference. Um, the, what you get is a more even, gentle heat around the whole room. So uh, people, you know, a lady in a stone house, granite house, stone walls, stone floors, their feet are warm. Um, because the heat is being spread everywhere. Um, chap on the boat, you might have seen his video, um, it takes the condensation out because there's warm air flowing across the glass in the cold areas. It draws the heat off and then it vents it out you know, through the normal vents in the boat. So it, it kills condensation on, on boats, on narrow boats. And, and his is 70 foot by 14, beautiful big thing. Um, and it does the whole, the stove now heats the whole thing. They don't have their central heating going. Um, so, you know, particularly now, it is an alternative to at least a proportion of your gas bill. Um, on, and particularly on your oil bill when you're, you know, when you're off the gas thing. And you're turning, you know, for the price of 37 watts, you're turning your stove into something that makes a significant contribution to the heating in your house. And that's why, you know, if that's what you're after, you know, it's worth putting up with the noise and the installation cost and everything else. Because, you know, it, it pays for itself many times over. Um, you know, so, again, we're not trying to sell anything that you don't want. We're not trying to sell something that doesn't work. Um, it is new. It is actually fairly remarkable and an incredibly cheap way to replace a significant proportion of your heating bill. And at the moment, that's a really important thing. Thanks very much for looking. And um, check out our other stuff. The website's ricoheat.co.uk. Ask us questions. Put comments on here, ask questions on here, even the stupid ones, they put our ratings up, so it's brilliant. Thanks very much.